this is Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot. Back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. For whenever you guys happen to watch this timeless love reading and it resonates with your particular situation, then there may be a message in the reading for you guys. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I really appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So, let's get into the reading. We're going to start with Oracles first. And then we're going to get into the tarot, okay? If I need to clarify, I will clarify, okay? All right. So, Divine Holy Spirit. What romantic love messages do you have for the Virgo Sun Rising and the Venus Placements? For whenever they happen to watch this romantic love reading. As always, guys, with any tarot reading, take only the messages that resonate with you in your particular situation. <laughs> If it doesn't apply to you in your situation, let it fly. But if it does apply, consider liking the video, sharing the video, and subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as a member of that soul tribe. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Dark male. Okay. Maybe you are the dark male or you're dealing with a dark male or will be soon. Soulmate. Okay. And a young female. So maybe you're young or he's young or whatever. Ice King. Somebody's cold. Though. Yeah, somebody's cold. Okay, let's get into it. All right. You might meet this person at work or have met them where you're working. Doesn't necessarily mean that you work with them. I want to reiterate that. That, that work still keeps coming up for some reason. But okay, let's see. Divine Holy Spirit. You might even meet this person at a work event, a uh, retreat or something. I don't know. Let's see. What messages, romantic love messages, do you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? Like I say, y'all might be from different ethnic backgrounds or, you know, just saying. Y'all might be dealing with someone who's a darker skin tone for your actual ethnic background or they might be or what they call mixed race. Okay, so let's. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? Somebody dealing with somebody who has Italian ancestry. I don't know what. Don't ask me. That just came to me. Okay. Just saying. Do, 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 do. Alright. Oh my gosh. The lovers and soul is right there. Okay. I got in the chariots. The magician. The eight of wands. The ten of swords. Oof. Oof, my own. The hanging woman. The four of cups. The moon. Yeah, and the five of wands. Yeah, so y'all, everything's going to work out in your favor, but right now, you're just waiting on the wheels to turn. Uh, yeah. You might be uh, you might be coming up on dealing with this dark male or whoever, take it how it resonates. It's like you were dealing with the one in the past, and everything seemed to be going right, but the, until it didn't with the Ten of Swords. It's like you closed out a chapter with them, and now you're moving forward. At first, you felt like you didn't know why a relationship or something didn't work out from the past, but it was for your own highest good because I felt like you were steadily disappointed and confused as to why this situation never worked out how you wanted with the, the moon card. Maybe this person kept a lot of secrets. Maybe you kept a lot of secrets. Put yourself where you see yourself. With the five of wands, it's like you were always in competition with them, or maybe they were in competition with you. I mean, maybe with another love partner that you did or did not know about. Let's see. Let's clarify the moon card for Virgo placements. Queen of Swords. Baby, they didn't did a number. Okay. I ain't going to say what I was thinking. Let's clarify the five of wands. They may... <laughs> Is either you've been through this or they've been through this. Take it out, resonates. Spirit, please clarify the five of wands for Virgo placements. 
whoever you dealt with that did that number, though, they were a particular soulmate. Uh, you might have dealt with them when you were young. The world card. Yeah, this was something that had to happen. Judgment, a judgment call. A judgment call was made, and you had to move on and graduate to the next level. They go to the hangman again. You had to change your perspective on how you were seeing this person. Maybe you put this person up on a pedestal, but in the end, were they really deserving of that pedestal that you put them on? They go to the eight of wands again as well. It's like, mm, let me see. Spirit, do you have another message for the Virgos concerning romantic love, this relationship in the past, or some, a relationship in the future? Yeah. You're going to be the dating queen, and you're going to have new love. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. You're going to be the dating queen, and you will get that new love that you seek. But before, you were, like, depressed, like, and know that you're a true gem. Yeah. Yeah, because somebody had you in a what? open relationship oh that sucks okay oh i want to cry okay but that's all i have for virgo sun moon rising and venus placements i hope you guys enjoy the reading i hope it was helpful if um it resonated with you give the video a thumbs up share subscribe uh comment if i have the comments on i don't know about it i'll see and uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys